Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. Uh, today I'm gonna create some, probably tacks, I'm not sure. And I'm gonna use only things I've got at home. Uh, so first, like my background will be this paper bag uh, I received with all food. Then I've got here a few envelopes which came in mail. Uh, these are tea dyed, these are brand new, so I didn't do anything with them. I've got here uh, a new notepad, some book page, a few other book pages, uh, empty pages from last year <laughs> planner, which I never used, <laughs> but I tea dyed them. I've got here a manual for my shaving thingy. And I've got here uh, magazines we love to read. Uh, we, we do love to read all kind of, you know, those uh, science magazines and also history magazines. So I'm gonna choose which one I'm gonna choose. And this one it's uh, based on a Czech show, TV show. Uh, it's about, you know, uh, craft and uh, most gardening and creating something at home. It's a wonderful show. I love that show. So... I think I'm going to take some history one. Yeah. I'm going to take this history special. We love to read these magazines. <clears throat> and my mom is so, so kind. She's always saving them for me and sending them here over the seats. So first I'm going to prepare my background. The way that I'm going to unglue all these glued parts of that paper bag. So I have unglued all these pages and because that paper bag is quite big, I'm gonna just take a piece of that, I think. So I do have my background and I'm gonna start to make some background, <laughs> some collage. And I think uh, because here in this manual, it's quite loads of pages and it's nice already very old paper <laughs> because i had it in my uh, bathroom for many years so it's kind of yellow not yellow that ivory that old old look already so i think i'm gonna start with it and i've got here these envelopes so maybe i'm gonna use them as my background i'm not sure uh, i'm gonna use this uh, glue stick And start to put these pages here and there. And make my own collage background. I think I'm gonna keep this label here. And I'm using this glue stick just because oh, that glue stick uh, will don't make my paper too much wrinkly. I will use uh, liquid glue. I will probably have too much wrinkles on my paper. Look at that background. And here. Yeah. I'm gonna put full book page here. And again, one of these. No, it will be two next to each other. I think it's time for using Yeah, my planner. This is my planner from last year. Not even one page I used. Like literally not even one letter was in, in that planner and i was so sure i'm gonna use it <laughs> nothing happened but now i do have linen paper that's good oh a few days ago i have watched the movie my son jacob advised me to watch uh, Shooter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio. 
I never saw that movie before. And I do believe I'm not gonna watch it again. That's totally amazing movie. Like, really amazing. I even stopped all work I did. And I did watch that movie with my open mouth all the time. It's a brilliant movie, but it's very heavy for thinking. Like, oh, that was very heavy movie. <laughs> but brilliant, really. Wonderful movie. I never w w saw that movie before, so if you saw it, you probably know how amazing movie it is. There you go. But I never saw that movie before. If you didn't see that, go to have a look. It's a really brilliant movie. Well made. Kind of scary here and there. But really brilliant movie. Yeah, I guess. So this is like a very light collage. Okay, this one. And over it, there is the book page. Up here. Okay. Here I'm gonna make layer. And that's all for now. Oh, I'm gonna place it a little bit more across this one. Like this. Okay. Here I do have quite empty space. So for that, gonna rip it off yes a piece from my envelope and glue it right here here I do have empty spaces I'm gonna use that beautiful background here Keep again a little bit of that brown background, and this one can go mm, here. Oh, with print on it. Okay. So I do have my <laughs> background base done for now. I'm gonna cut it on pieces. And I think I'm gonna do those tags, I guess. So I'm gonna choose the size. I think I'm gonna make larger tags. So I'm gonna fold it half. And cut. And I will fold it this way. Fold it half and fold it half, fold it half, fold it half, and I do have my tucks large, they are more like pages, 
but I'm gonna use them like large tacks. So I'm gonna cut that rest same way. So I do have my large background cut it, cut it on pieces and I'm gonna make it look like that I think. So I'm gonna take one, fold the edges, take my scissors, ah oh, it's not kind of straight, but <laughs> and cut it, yeah this way. I'm gonna place them together. And I think I'm gonna take it in smaller amount. If I will take all of them, it will be kind of too much to cut here and here. Hopefully they are straight. And now other half. Come on, what I'm doing here. Yeah, they will be not straight. <laughs> I can see that now. <laughs> because I didn't place it properly together. Okay, I do have my large tacks. And I will try to create something nice on it. I'm going to take straight away this one. And I'm gonna take that magazine and I will try to find some nice interesting picture. Look at that. It's just beautiful and I actually know what I'm gonna take straight away. There is one. Maybe I will don't use it, that's possible. But maybe I will do. So I'm gonna cut this parchment. Okay, and something more. Something I can... Okay, I can put together with it. This one. How big you are. It's quite big. So I guess I'm done with this, uh, with cutting uh, images. And I'm gonna cut this. Picture. Here I've got history special. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. And this is in Czech language, but I think, why not? It belongs to that. And I'm gonna try to fussy cut out this one. Nice. This nearly done. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. That is too much fussy cutting. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Okay, you have scroll. Do I have here something? I forgot, I don't. Ah, this is my, oops, background. So I do have my pieces. And I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this. Three of five. The trial of Lord. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more stronger. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take the book page, glue it on book page, and keep the kind of frame around. Like this, I'm gonna cut these corners a little bit, just those top corners. Yeah, I like it more. All right, I still can see the number. Have a look. I'm gonna give it a try and use walnut stain on it. Uh, it's coated with that glossy, glossy finish. So I guess it will be possible. Ha! Huh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna take wet wipe and dry it with wet wipes. Oh, it's holding really well. I don't want to make it too dark, but make it a little bit more like um, warm. So I'm going to let it dry. It looks like the print from back side going out, so I'm not going to do it on other pieces. I'm gonna take one of these uh, planner linen papers, not a big one. That will be there, you can be here, just like this. You can be here to cover the date. Yes, no. Number can stay. Okay. And this one. I've got here what I found when I was making that sorting. I found so many, you know, die cuts which I never used. And uh, I found also these are labels and uh, I bring them from Czech Republic maybe two years ago 
<laughs> and I never use them. Oh, maybe I can use them now. Too long. If I will cut it here. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna use one of these labels under that uh, history special. So I'm gonna first make some uh, embossed effect. So as a first, I made this postcard uh, embossed effect. Uh, it's from other side, uh, seen from other side as well. So I will need to cover it with uh, another paper from this side to make it like uh, flat. I used uh, one of these folders. It's from Sizzix and uh, number it's 657666. And it's very old collection. Someone told me that I can always find the year they released that where it's the copyright mark. Now I'm blind and I can't see that. It was somewhere here I saw that before. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, here. Copyright 2011. So it's really old one. And I think from same time. Yeah, 2011. It's this collection. 657668. And I want to use probably this small one or, or a return address. I'm not sure yet. <coughs> I'm gonna glue this piece right now and I'm gonna make that another embossed effect on this piece. I'm gonna have a look which one. So this I'm gonna glue here. Keep visible also the papers underneath. And which one from this? Or maybe airmail. Nope. Yeah, I think this one. That yeah, that uh, postmark, postmark stamp. I'm gonna emboss here on the bottom. So it's right here, and uh, I'm gonna go over these uh, embossed areas just very lightly. Like this, that's enough. So this one will be somewhere here. Yes. I'm gonna glue it down and then I will sew it all around. So I'm gonna glue it here make sure I can still see here those words and the embossed effect on the top and a little bit of that print from this side. I'm gonna use my sewing machine and uh, I'm gonna just sew this picture. So I made the sewn effect around that picture and also all around uh, of that tag. And I'm gonna try to make something with this gonna glue it down and decorate it. I think I'm gonna put the glue here because it's much better that paper. It's kind of soft and I'm scared I'm gonna rip it off with my glue stick. So I'm gonna make it this way. Oh, 
okay now I do have here this it's already dry so I can glue it on the book page And I'm going to cut it as a label. And I think I'm going to glue it on that scroll. Right here. Now this small one, I'm not gonna use any distress ink on that small one. It's too teeny, mini, tiny, mini. Are you fitting here? Yes, you are. And something here. It can be there, but <laughs> I want to change it somehow. Maybe this is too dark, we will see. Where is that at the end of the room? Do I have there something? This is a little bit ripped off, but... Maybe this one. I don't have that other part. So shame, so shame. Okay. Here. And I'm back. I managed to cut this small piece in the size which can be fit to that red label. I'm just gonna these corners make them kind of invisible corners. I think it will <laughs> look interesting. So I'm gonna glue it there. Take this label, glue on it that um, piece of envelope, like this. And maybe. Because I do love numbers, so maybe number. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, and I'm gonna 
keep it dry. Hopefully I'm not going to ruin all that piece with one label. Just like that. And maybe something a little bit more here. But I've got, but I've got what I've got. I've got here, here also these uh, timetable book pages. I forgot to pull them out before. Oh, sorry. I lost my head. May I use something? It needs something. I'm missing something. What I am missing? And I nearly forgot that scroll had a, a seal stamp. So <laughs> I think maybe that is my brain missing. I'm gonna put through the string. I think I will have to because it's many layers, so I will have to punch the hole. I'm gonna punch one eighth of inch to make it more easy. One here and one here. Kind of ish. Prepare the string. And somewhere here I can place the stamp. So I'm gonna melt it. I already started, but it's taking time. I think I'm ready, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna seal these strings. I think it's safe to take it off. So I've got small uh, seal stamp with chrome. And the last thing I'm gonna do is taking distress inks and I will put it all together with distress inks. Uh, if you will notice, this one has kind of like a um, vintage photo plus uh, walnut stain and this is how it looks like all distressed and with that seal wax and I think it looks gorgeous I really love that uh, you know that uh, matching a little bit more those edges with this color I think I will probably add a little bit more of that vintage photo but for now I'm kind of okay with this maybe I can take one more bring back the magazine and choose another picture so 
So that's my second picture I choose from here, from this page, this beautiful drawing. And for a long time, I didn't do any kind of mix with uh, stencils, so maybe I should try that. So first what I'm going to do, is I'm going to glue that picture. And again, I'm going to use glue stick, but I'm going to put the glue on the page and place the picture there, somehow. I think here. And I'm going to try to wipe it in. I'm gonna let it dry. So I've got here these stencils uh, only. Would I remember this? <laughs> of course, Tim Holtz. This is a stencil from Daily Art. Uh, Daily Art stencils, but uh, I don't remember name. I think it was uh, number four from that collection. I've got here this uh, stencil from Marta, uh, from Maremi Small Art. I will have to have a look to her channel, to her shop, because I do believe she has many uh, mixed media stencils. Here I've got this one, I'm not sure if I will use them. Just pull out what I think. Here these clocks, some writing, and this one it's from Sheena, Sheena Douglas. Uh, this is actually <laughs> Statue of Liberty, but... Um, I think, you know, that the bottom one I like. I never used that stencil. Oh yeah, I, I think I did once. So I guess I'm gonna start with that. I actually like this. And I will see, maybe I will ruin that picture. So you will don't see that. Because I will don't upload it. I'm gonna place it this way. This way. Yeah. Kind of. And with black ink. I will need more black ink. Okay. I add a little bit more ink to my ink pad. And we will see if that will be. Yep. First, I'm gonna try to somehow, yeah, make something. I think, yeah, not this one, not that one. So I'm trying to ink a little bit of that picture, but not too much. And kind of go from that picture down there. Let me see. Yeah, I think this way it's enough. Maybe here, clock, I got it even on my table.
and maybe that's enough from black ink for now. I'm gonna use my heating gold. And dry that ink. So I dried that uh, picture. Hopefully it's all dry. And I pull out a few things. Uh, I would like to try that uh, stamping with embossing with embossing powders because I do love that effect. And I'm gonna use these Tim Holtz stamps because this uh, these fonts are just stunning. So hopefully. Hopefully, it will make nice effect. And I've got here the white uh, embossing powder. I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm gonna add there one more time. If that paper will let me to do so. Eh, probably not. Okay, just a little bit. So I do have embossed effect here. I do love that 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 beautiful effect. And um, I'm gonna use. It. I wanna use one more, but I'm not sure. I think maybe a little bit of these. These are gorgeous as well. Again, maybe I can place them here, but I'm gonna use uh, a gold this time. Uh, I've got here this pirate gold uh, opaque, opaque, we opaque, and it's from Stamp and Stuff embossed powder, embossing powder. So pirate gold. I'm not sure how it looks like because I don't remember. <laughs> You know, embossing powders are things that you buy once in a while. So they are kind of good thing to buy. Here. Okay, that went even with the ink before no good oh that looks good already now like that shine thingy I'm not sure if you can see that sparkle, but that sparkle, it's so great. 
So I do have here my two tags. Uh, here I added a little bit more that uh, vintage photo and walnut stain. And I think when I am looking at now, I think I'm gonna add. It's not the one. Where is the other one? Here is the other one. I'm gonna go just uh, with the leftover with black ink, just that edge. You know, old papers. Have sometimes those very dark edges. It looks like burnt edges. So just a little bit, not too much, just like this. Yeah, I like it a little bit more. It's more dark. And here I have finished that stamping here on the top as well with embossing uh, powder with that gold one. Hopefully you can see. And then uh, I sewn all around that uh, tag. So I have sewing all around uh, of the edge of that tag. And I went uh, around with black ink. That's all what I did right now. And I've got here some broken jewelry. Here I've got, <laughs> this was my necklace. And I'm using it for decorating, uh, now my, decorating my, uh, my creations. And here I do have gold leaves uh, because this is a uh, Czech king. And our Czech National Tree, it's uh, large, uh, large leaf lime. Lime, I hope it's, I'm, I'm saying that right. Uh, it's uh, Tilia, the tree, that, that Latin name, it's Tilia. I don't remember that other one, but Tilia, it's Latin name for the tree. Uh, usually those, those leaves are a little bit sh shorter and kind of fat, like... The, like beautiful <laughs> beautiful leaves but i don't have them <laughs> i do have these so i'm gonna use these for decorating this stuff and here i do have that this is my necklace so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to punch the hole somewhere here one here and one somewhere a little bit next to it. And I'm gonna kind of sewn this one what I'm doing. my duck like this and I will try to go one more time come here open it come on come here open it and go back to that other hole it's like sewing the button and make a knot so i'm gonna secure it here and then from this side i'm gonna glue just those probably those planner pages to make it like writing tack so that's this one And as I do love to make always some kind of, you know, see through something. This is how it looks like. And I do love to make always some kind of those holes or interesting points. I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm gonna make some holes here. 
Yeah, he has to do it this way to hog. Yeah, okay, gonna leave it there. And now this little fella. I think first I'm gonna glue to, uh, those back sides to make sure that it will be flat with no any wrinkles. A lot of ink everywhere, even on me. Good, that's better. Oh, no, here. Good. And I've got here. This Utah string and I'm just gonna go up zigzag through this. Here, I'm going to secure it. With one of these little thingy. I think I'm gonna put there a little bit of glue. I'm gonna punch the holes, not punch, poke the holes because this is multi layer. And hopefully, I can fix it. One and second one. Hold. Good. Stay there. Inside and with my players, I'm gonna just squeeze it. So it should hold properly that string. Okay, one more time. I will probably punch a little bit of my embossing. Yeah. Here. 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 And. And one more time, and I'm on it. Too long needle. Cut it. And one, I'm gonna try to go through to this here before I will tie both ends. 
Come here, there you are. Come here. Oh, come on. I need new glasses. Because <laughs> I can't see. And make a knot. When I will find some decoration, something I can add here, I will probably do so. Not sure. Okay, so that's this one. Now I'm going to take <coughs> two of these papers. One, two. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to add the glue. Okay. One here. And let it dry and take that other one and do same. <clears throat> Can't press too much because there is that embossed effect. If I will press too much, I will destroy my embossed effect so I can't go too hard on it. Okay. And here for uh, editing those golden leaves, I'm gonna use <clears throat> that uh, liquid glass because it's. Uh, I tried it. Oh. <laughs> it holds really well. <laughs> I tried that on my stumps <laughs> and it's perfect as a glue. So I've got here a small brush and I'm gonna take my tweezers add that liquid glass here and wait a little bit meanwhile I'm thinking to add a little bit of that liquid glass, not a little bit, I mean uh, to paint with that liquid glass also the crown of the king so it will have another kind of interesting thingy and it's good to wait a little bit with gluing it makes that um, kind of cold, which is more sticky later. So, I'm gonna paint his crown. I hope you don't see only my head, <laughs> but you can actually see what I'm doing. Yes, I do have that liquid glass where I need. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna place it right here. 
yes, to this point. Okay. And this will need dry for 24 hours. So I'm going to show you straight away how it looks like finished. But it will be, actually what you see here, it will just hold. Here I should wait. Hopefully. So I'm going to finish this off the camera. I'm, I'm going to put uh, those golden leaves in these kind of points. And that will be all my creation for today. I hope you did enjoy it. It's not too not too much, but I do love that embossed effect. <laughs> and I actually like this one. <laughs> it's something a little bit different and uh, that seal seal stamp here um, makes beautiful decoration. So these are my two large tags made from trash actually. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy it. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you next time. Bye.